So from that report, we're going to go straight to one of the quarantine centers in Karen, where some of those folks are staying right now for the next 14 days. The gentleman we was about to speak to, his name, he doesn't want his name revealed, so we're just going to call him Chris, right? That's right. Chris, if you can hear us, how are you doing this evening? Uh, good evening, and thanks for having me. Absolutely. I understand you encountered a hitch uh, once you reached the quarantine center. Just what happened after uh, you left JKIA today? Oh, okay. What happened uh, is when we left JKIA, we were directed to this center here in Karen, which we understand is a free quarantine center. Uh, and uh, after arriving here, we were we were we came here aboard uh, a KWS bus. And on arriving here, we were booked. Uh, uh, we were booked here, but then again, we were told we must pay four thousand five hundred Kenya shillings, of which it was not communicated to us. We all knew that we are coming here for free quarantine. Everyone knows our situation back in China. And uh, so the situation was not very friendly. All right, Chris, I hope that's been rectified, or I hope it will be going forward. In the meantime, you mentioned the situation in China. Many of us have no idea what you went through. Describe for us, if you, what was it like those last few weeks before you were able to get on that flight? What was what was life like? Okay, we what we we came in a situation where the living situation was not so good, and uh, there was kind of uh, harassment here and there with the police and everything. But uh, we also want to thank uh, the many authorities, our government, and the embassy in Beijing uh, that uh, made us come back here. So uh, after all that uh, has happened... Yeah, Chris, Chris, describe for us. Was it, I mean, were you harassed by the locals? We saw pictures on social media, Africans, Kenyans being harassed by the... Describe for us, if you will. None of us experience that could could you please just expound for us yes there were uh, harassment in different cities uh in china some uh, uh, uh met them directly and others uh, through the landlords in our residential areas wherever uh, everyone we, we were staying um we also encountered them in shopping malls and uh, the bus. when we would uh, want to board the buses and, and train. yeah and train. so uh, it was not uh, a situation we want to, to relive again and, and chris now that you're back here at home just uh, to take you back for clarity's sake you mentioned that once you got to the facility you're expected to pay four thousand five hundred i'm assuming per person per night however you weren't expecting that you got a different commitment from someone in government that it would be free. Who gave that commitment? Yeah, we... Uh, uh, from Beijing, uh, from when we came from uh, Guangzhou, uh, when we boarded the flight, we were told that uh, whenever we will go, uh, we, have a we had a choice. If you want to go to a public... Uh, quarantine facility, government public uh, facility, you will not uh, pay. Uh, then again, there were hotels and uh, other uh, facilities offering uh, their services for uh, a fee. But uh, when we came to JKIA, we opted for the free uh, facility. That's why we came here in current. In Karen. And have you gotten any word from anyone in government on, on that mix-up at all? Not yet for now. Uh, what happened this evening uh, is one of uh, the, uh, let's say, uh, the kitchen uh, fellow, Memo Ocheng, Mr. Ocheng, and uh, 
she's the one who uh, offered us uh, some food in the evening. Actually, we uh, the whole of this day we had not had a meal since we left the flight. Chris, so, mm. yes. Are you happy to be home? Yes, we are happy, Very to, be happy to be home. See, seems like you have a crowd there with you, Chris. Yes, they are all listening to you, Jeff. And yeah, you don't uh, seem you don't seem very happy to be home, Chris. Yes, that's not the uh, welcome we expected. Although we have faced much worse than that, so we are still holding on. And and hopefully you get uh, some clarification from government on how to move forward because you can only imagine what that four thousand five hundred needs a day a day times fourteen days. Precisely. Most of us have not been working, and uh, most of us we are business people, various professionals, and it has been tough for us. So we need that that. Yeah, Chris, to you and everyone there with you, welcome home. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you for talking to us and all the best. You're all the best, guys. Thank you.